What's up, everybody? It's me. You're tuning into On the Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. So I was in the middle of doing some preparation for these reviews. You guys, if you follow the channel, you guys know I do a lot of tech reviews. I'm working on a bunch of stuff. I just got in headphones, camera lights, lavalier systems, and I'm actually using that now. So if you hear the audio, that's what I'm using. Video monitors, touch screens, other headphones, uh, this whole thing. It's a, another computer. It's another um, monitor. It's a lot of stuff. So you guys know what I do. So stay tuned if you're interested in any of those things. Definitely go through the channel, check all the other stuff. But I had somebody um, just hit me up. A friend of mine just called me, asked me about black seed oil. You know, he's new to black seed oil. He's like, yo, how do you take this stuff? Because the taste, I'm going to go crazy. I don't know if I could do it. I'm like, relax, chill. I got you. And then that made me realize, you know, I get this question a lot online, people in the comment section. So I'm going to fill you guys in on different ways that you can take the black seed oil and it'll help ease your life a little bit. So the first thing, a lot of people know that you, uh, you know, a lot of people are told to take the black seed oil with honey which is a good thing. I do it sometimes. I'm off and on with it. The best thing, now, a lot of people take the honey and the black seed oil, they put it in a spoon, and then it, it gets messy. Sometimes they, they choke. It's just, it, it gets kind of crazy. All right, so what I kind of learned to do is I take a half a teaspoon of the honey, I swallow it, I immediately follow that with a teaspoon of the black seed oil, and then I follow that up immediately with another half teaspoon of the honey. Now, you know, you're told to take the black seed oil with a whole teaspoon of honey. So splitting it up that way, what it does is it takes, when you take the first half a teaspoon, it coats your throat and it gives you that taste of the honey in your mouth. Then you take the black seed oil, it, 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 you don't taste the full, you know, force of the oil because it's, you know, you have the honey taste in your mouth and it doesn't burn if you have the real strong black seed oil like, Bionatal over there, because it is the best and it's the strongest. Shameless plug, yeah, it is what it is. Um, link in the description, by the way, and a promo code, 5% off at checkout. But, um, you know, it, it, it will burn your throat, so you take the, the, the honey to coat your throat, and then you take the, the second half a teaspoon after you swallow the oil, because you're still going to get some of the, the taste in your mouth, and that's how you get rid of that taste. You get a better taste in your mouth. So that's all cool. Try that. Let me know what you think in a description. Now, another thing, um, a lot of people say that they take it with orange juice. That's kind of new to me, but I've been hearing a lot of people mention that lately. Uh, leave it in the comment section. Let me know how that works for you. Let me know why you do it, why, why um, orange juice over other things. Let me know in the comment section, but that's something that I'm, I've been hearing lately. A lot of people are using um, orange juice. Now, a lot of people overseas in like the Middle East and stuff like that, I hear that they, a lot of people use, they put it in their tea. Now, the reason why I don't think that's really a good idea personally is because two reasons. One, if you know about the, the heating process when the oil is being pressed, I speak about that all the time on the channel. Check the other videos out if, you're not, if you don't know about that. Um, you don't want to add heat, especially a lot of heat to the oil because it degrades the oil. So without just in my untrained, unscientific estimates, you know, I don't think I would want to put my oil in a basically what was just a second ago boiling hot water because it might degrade the oil. Uh, so I really don't want to do that. Now, the other thing, the main thing for me at least is I've put it in water, cups of water, cups of juice. And what I realized is when you do that, the oil tends, because oil and water doesn't mix. We all know that, right? <laughs> so usually when you put it, all right, so if you put it in your tea, it's going to stick to the side of the cup. It's going to just, you, you, so you're losing a lot of the oil. When I take my oil personally, I want every drop. I don't want to miss nothing. I want all the benefits. I don't want half of the stuff all around the sides of the cup. It's just, it's messy. It's annoying. It really doesn't work. Um, so another thing is what I, I just recently found out, salute to Rashid from Bionatal. Um, check out their channel. I'll leave the link in the description to their YouTube channel. He uh, was talking about put the black seed oil under your tongue and then swallow the black seed, um, the water or whatever you're taking. Now, and I've been doing that and it works. And obviously because all of your taste buds are on your tongue. So if you put it under your tongue and then swallow the water, 
it kind of washes it down. You still taste the oil, but it's not as strong, it's not as severe. So that's something uh, I definitely want you guys to try that. Let me know what you think in the comment section after you try it. Let me know how that works for you. Another thing is if, you know, also try the thing with the, uh, the honey. Let me know in the comment section what works for you. Also in the comment section, let me know what you guys do, how you guys take your black seed oil and how that works for you. Something else that I was doing before is I would try to, again, to avoid my taste buds, I would take the oil and try to throw it all the way back to the back of my tongue. And that works sometimes, but sometimes if you, if you miscalculate and it hits wrong, it'll go down your throat like all the way. You might choke, you might gag, it might burn. It's just it's hit and miss with that one. <laughs> so I don't do that one as much. I just usually either do the honey of course, the raw way, you just take it and put it in your mouth and just, just deal with it and just man up. Um, or the way I've been doing recently is just taking the oil, putting it under my tongue, and then washing it down with some water. So um, that's pretty much it. I wanted to know what you guys think. Again, leave it in the comment section. Let me, know, let me know how you guys take your oil. Let me know what works for you. We'll also be able to help other people who are trying to just find new ways to take their oil. Because some people are just totally, totally stressed out about this, you know, <laughs> about taking the oil. So that's, 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 that's just what I wanted to tell you guys about. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted. I have a, another testimonial video coming this week. Um, if you guys haven't seen the other testimonial videos, I have two testimonial videos with tons of real people leaving their comments about how the black sea oil has helped them. It's done tons of different things. So I have another video, the third installment of that coming. So stay tuned for that. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. So until next time, tune in, salute, I'm out of here.